Firewalls come in hardware firewalls and software firewalls. Let's look at a hardware firewall. Where might we put it? Well, we could put it anywhere on our network we want. This is a very simple network, but if we had a more complex network with switches going to switches and so forth, I could put it anywhere in order to protect a segment in my network. But in this case, I've got my perimeter router right here, which goes to the internet, and I've got my firewall right here in line with this first switch. That way, everything has to pass through this, and I can now protect all of these computers with one configuration, which also reduces the chance for errors in setting it up, because if I'm only doing it once, it doesn't give me you know 10 opportunities to mess it up. I only have one opportunity to mess it up. So I can fix that much more easily. So let's take a look at some of the benefits of a hardware firewall. For one, it can protect many computers at one time with one configuration. Also, it can filter traffic before it reaches the host. If all of these computers had software firewalls on them, that's all fine and good, except they don't even begin the process of filtering until after the bad packets have already reached those computers. Also, it can uh, have very complex rule setups, have a lot of flexibility. Because of the fact that it's an entire firewall dedicated device, it can have capabilities that are not likely to have on the software firewalls of these machines. It can take processing time away from the computers. So these hosts here are busy enough. They don't need all the extra work of extra firewall rules when this guy can take that load on himself. And finally, it can be a multi-purpose device. It may also act as a proxy server, a VPN concentrator, a router, a content filter, you name it, even an intrusion detection system. Many times we call that a UTM or Universal Threat Management System.